Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and guardians. My name is The Black Link, and today we're going to be taking a look at the legendary Iron Banner auto rifle, the Hakon's Hatchet. Hakon's Hatchet is a medium impact auto rifle available from Lord Saladin in the Iron Banner. Now, we'll be focusing on the vendor variant for this review, as it's pretty much as close to a god roll as the gun can get. Seriously, it's amazing, and I hope you guys push through the Iron Banner to get one. We'll start things out by checking out the gun's perks. Alright, in the sight tree, we've got the Red Dot OAS, Quick Draw Iron Sights, and the Focus Lens FLS2. Now, of these three, I would generally probably stick with the Red Dot OAS, as it's a pretty good snapshot sight with a nice little bonus to stability. I do believe the stat is plus 14. Now, aesthetically, it looks great on the gun as well, with a really nice little green hue that's really quite unlike a lot of the other Iron Banner primaries. Alright, in the first perk tree, we've got Rangefinder, which of course increases the gun's range whenever you ADS by about 20%. This is a fantastic perk that's generally welcome on any weapon that can roll at, save maybe scout rifles. And it certainly provides a benefit for the hatchet here. Rangefinder is really a perk that can make or break a weapon, so it's really great to have on the vendor roll. That extra range will save your life. Right in the middle tree, we've got perfect balance for a nice boost to stability. Having that on will really help you stick to targets. Appended magazine to boost this gun's mag size from 36 to 44 with only a small knock to its reload speed and an additional 8 rounds in the mag. And finally, reinforced barrel, which doubles this gun's range at the cost of some stability. Now, this is probably my favorite choice of the three. While perfect balance definitely has a noticeable effect on this gun's recoil, I find generally that its patterns are easy enough to control as is, and I really appreciate the extra range that reinforced barrel affords you. But really, you could just jump between all three of these perks to suit your situation. They're all really fantastic for this gun. Finally, we've of course got Counterbalance, and as most of you know by now, this perk is amazing. It essentially eliminates all horizontal recoil, causing your weapon's recoil pattern to shoot straight up. This is the perk that makes high rate of fire autos so deadly, since it makes recoil easy to predict and counter and mixes perfectly with the other perks on this gun. Let's check out some examples. This is the hatchet with the perfect balance counterbalance combo. You'll notice how the recoil pattern essentially shoots straight up, stopping right at the edge of the structure while performing a similar vertical rise while ADSing without touching the control stick at all. With this combo, the gun is ludicrously easy to control, meaning you'll be able to stay on target and hopefully track precision shots with no trouble at all. Look at how easily you can manage this thing. You should be chaining headshots like a beast. Next up, we're going to take a look at the pattern when using reinforced barrel. You'll notice a bit of a difference here. As you can see, it's still a purely vertical climb, but with a much faster rise. The lower stability really shows here, but again, thanks to counterbalance eliminating horizontal recoil, this is still very easy to control, and it'll grant you the greatly improved range stat as well. If you find yourself in a lot of mid to long range engagements, this perk should really serve you well. Having this extra range means you'll be dealing max or near max damage with this gun while further away from your target. Alright, and just for kicks, here's what the recoil pattern looks like with a pended magazine. Again, it's gonna be mostly the same, with a slightly slower rise than reinforced barrel, due to having some of that stability back, and the benefit of a larger magazine. Similarly, controlling the gun during ADS is also still pretty darn easy. Because again, it's got more stability than reinforced barrel, so you'll still be able to stick to targets. If you find yourself needing more ammo in gunfights, this might be the perk for you. Alright, let's move on to some gameplay here and just discuss my general thoughts about this weapon. With a rate of fire of 88 and an impact of 8, the hatchet sits comfortably in the mid rate of fire tier, dealing about 20 damage for precision shots at optimal range, so very close, and then scaling down from there, and about 16 damage at optimal range for a body shot. Which means it takes about 10 precision shots to kill, or 13 body shots. Now, despite not being a bullet hose archetype of auto rifles, this is actually fairly achievable, and I don't find that this gun has too much trouble performing fairly well in the Crucible. Now, that was a lot of buzzwords that mean it's pretty good. With the right setup and perks, you're going to be competing with some of the better guns in the Crucible right now. And that's why it's so important to pick up the vendor roll from Lord Saladin. It literally is just perfect. Now, again, my personal preference with this was actually to pick Reinforced Barrel over Perfect Balance. I just really like that extra range that the perk gives you. 
since it allows you to get those 19 to 20 damage headshots much further out. But that's not to say that perfect balance doesn't have a place on this gun. Quite the opposite, actually. I found in a lot of close quarter situations, perfect balance was much more preferable to me since it allowed me to keep my uh, reticle on target, chaining those hits needed to kill whether enemies were close up, above me, or beneath me. While the gun's natural recoil is pretty easy to manage, perfect balance will allow you to stay on target even in super close range, hopefully allowing you to burn down threats in a variety of situations. Plus, you'll still have rangefinder on this thing, which gives you a huge benefit in terms of range when you're ADSing. But for me, on most mid-range maps, the combination of rangefinder and reinforced barrel really had me winning engagements that I had absolutely no business being in. I mean, over the course of this video, you're going to see a couple of really long-range kills. Well, at least relatively long-range for auto rifles. But I really love the extra kick over range that Reinforced Barrel affords you. Again, it doesn't increase your damage output. It just allows you to deal that maximum auto rifle damage, those 20 damage precision shots, while being further away from your opponent. And it definitely shows. The truth is, you could really jump between all three of the middle tree perks based on what your current situation calls for. Are you on a mid to long range map? Rock on Rifled Barrel if you can handle the extra recoil. On a map that's more up close and personal like Drifter, well, first off, stop using an auto rifle on Drifter. But if you have to, Perfect Balance will definitely be there for you. And if you're on a solidly close to mid-range map and you just find yourself needing more ammunition, well, a pended magazine might just be the way to go. Overall, the Hakon's Hatchet is a fantastic gun. I've really been enjoying it. Lord Saladin has had some pretty good rolls on it the past couple of times he's brought it, but this one really takes the cake. I mean, rangefinder, perfect balance, counterbalance, that's already a dream roll for most auto rifles in the game. And the additional options of reinforced barrel and appended magazine are definitely welcome. Now, no, it's not quite going to be out shooting stuff like the Doctrine of Passing or a perfectly rolled Arminius D or a Hawksaw or even really a Mita multi-tool all of the time, but this gun is definitely a contender. And the vendor version definitely gets a thumbs up from TBL. Go pick it up. You can get this perfectly rolled Hakon's hatchet from Lord Saladin and the Iron Banner this week once you hit rank 5. Although today is the last day of the tournament, so you might want to jump in there and get to rank 5 as soon as you can. Who knows, while you're playing, you might just be lucky enough to get this same roll as a drop at 335. But alright guys, those are my thoughts on the legendary Hakon's hatchet. I like it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this mini review. Be sure to let me know what you think of the Hakon's hatchet as well as the rest of the Iron Banner stuff in the comments section below. But alright, thanks so much for watching, and as always, I am the Black Link. You Guardians, stay frosty.